what is going on guys and welcome back to the rift my name is terrence it's beautiful to see your faces and today is a bit sad compared to the last few videos because the hype has to take a break for a bit the ufc4 beta is officially over and with that i think i can say my initial thoughts video is still fairly accurate i think i still feel the same way i felt when i made that video now um having played the beta for two days about two days give or take i probably played a little bit less than i would have liked um but what can you do my biggest takeaway from the beta is that there are a few things that just need balancing which is a given again that's what betas are for whether you feel like it was a demo or a beta or you feel like we're too close to launch for this to be a beta i'm gonna do my best to back up all the claims i make even though my feeling is that these are all my opinion and it's okay for you to disagree or agree with me on them number one thing that i think needs to be fixed is the submission system uh i like i said in that video i still think even now that i've gotten a better grip on it i still think it's a little unbalanced i say a little i think it's a lot unbalanced um and has a lot of room for improvement and i do believe it will be improved by the time the launch edition comes out i think enough people have complained about that number two is takedown defense denying takedowns i think in the entirety of playing the game i denied one takedown um and i don't think anyone denied any of my takedowns either online or in single player the computer can't even deny my takedowns on normal difficulty i think i think that's probably something else that needs to be fine-tuned and improved on because the low block button to deny takedowns is clearly not working my final complaint of the game that i think or i shouldn't say complaint but my final constructive uh criticism for the game is that default grappling system it's it's a little wonky and i think either you guys need to add a better tutorial to help people understand how to use it maybe a practice mode something else or just all together rework it so that the legacy mode is just given back to us i think people would be able to live with that with all that being said um i personally had fun with it at the end of the day i think it was a good time and i want to get into career mode as well as ranked and play i'd like to see how this new creative fighter mode works i love the daily objectives i thought that was a lot of fun to kind of go after uh for every mode that i played whether it be quick match or just offline single player i i had fun and for me that warrants the purchase so i will be buying this game now like i said the beta did end last night i didn't know it was going to be ending that early or else i would have made some type of news bulletin but let's take a look at what EA dev team member Steve Dave had to say at the coming to conclusion of the UFC 4 beta. Okay, here we go. Hey EA Sports UFC fans, thank you for playing the closed beta as we've adapted to some new work environments and extraordinary circumstances to develop games from home, a beta has been more critical for us this year than ever before. One of the biggest challenges we had to face is our ability to stress test servers and quality assurance for bugs and tuning at a large scale. The closed beta has enabled us to ensure we launch UFC 4 with the highest degree of stability and polish possible. That wouldn't be possible without your help. We're also reading and listening to your, <coughs> excuse me, listening to your feedback. It's impossible for us to reply to all of it directly across forums and social platforms, but we hear you and appreciate the passion and constructive feedback for us to make this the best EA Sports UFC yet. A lot of feedback we've seen so far is centered on gameplay controls and tuning. One of our goals this year was to address long-standing community feedback to improve the grappling clinch submission system and takedown controls. Implementing more user control and responsiveness as well as the ability to combine grappling with seamless strikes as so many UFC fighters do in the real world MMA. The challenge we faced in doing so was simple. The lack of available button inputs remaining on the controller with UFC 3 adding RPM tech to the stand-up game allowed players a great deal of control over their movement and striking, but it came at the cost of complexity in the controls and using more button combinations. The result was that players struggled with the new controls at first, but overwhelmingly became advocates for them as they surpassed the four to five hours of play milestone and became more comfortable with complexity. In UFC 4, we solved... What? We solved for the challenge? I'm sorry, that was worded weird in my mind. In UFC 4, we solved for the challenge of lack of available button inputs by implementing a tap versus tap and hold mechanic to strike. 
clinch, and grappling. This allows us to increase the depth of control and fluidity, but not unlike UFC 3, it comes at the cost of another learning curve to adapt to the new control scheme. Here's some good news to look forward to on that topic. In just two days, we received an astounding amount of data and feedback to help improve this system and are already hard at work to implement it for launch. Sorry, spit in my mouth. I'm starting to trip over my words. We can't say enough. Thank you. We've learned more about the mechanics and tuning from one technical test than we've been able to do in months of work from home testing or work from home testing. Uh, this is incredibly valuable and will make the game even better in a variety of ways. The full game will include much better onboarding tutorials for the new controls and all of the new gameplay features in UFC 4. The closed beta was purely a gameplay technical test and unfortunately we weren't able to include the menu tutorials or the career mode onboarding into the beta build. For the final product at launch, getting used to these new controls to take full advantage of the features should be much more seamless and enjoyable. For those of you that want to try new ground game controls and decide it's not for you, the menu provides the option to switch back to UFC 3 legacy controls at any time. Last but not least, the beta is just a small window into the final game. We can't wait for you to try out the new modes like Blitz Battles, the new Career Mode, the Connected Fighter Profile for customized fighters, and all of the other new great features in UFC 4. And of course, then it thanks us one more time for the support and says they're ending the beta at midnight. If you're reading this, the beta is already over. It ended, let's see, six hours ago. So, um, da -da -da, you can visit the website, blah, blah, blah. So almost everything you saw or heard me read just now is basically what I think everyone's been saying since the beta dropped. The game still needs a lot of tuning. Um, there's still a lot of learning curve. You gotta add some better tutorials because the tutorials we have right now just did not break the game down. Most people that I saw when I finally got around to reading the criticisms of the game seem to be complaining about the same thing as me. Number one being takedown defense. The subsystem is broken. Um, stand up is exactly the same uh, a lot of those complaints um, the graphics not looking that great again that was not a complaint that I felt was necessary to have but I understand where some people are coming from um, personally let me show you this uh, this is why I am not quite ready to complain about the beta and say the game is broken and unplayable and shouldn't be purchased it's because of this this is UFC 3's day one patch okay stand up they improve ragdoll tuning cool I'm not gonna click on any of the videos but uh, you'll get the point here all right so these are the things that were added on day one of UFC 3 let's just go through a few so um, visual improvements to the fall and get up animations they added the Superman added a second backhand over or uh, back overhand animation um, they reduced vulnerability and adjusted it to start later in animations they added missing taunts they added missing feints they added more variations to the animations for jabs and straights these are all things that they tune judge scoring logic uh, they were already fixing bugs Bugs. Um, they were working on creative fighter things that probably weren't even big uh, uh, complaints at the time. They tuned perks that were built into the game. I mean, I'm just picking a few of these and reading as I go. They adjusted camera. They adjusted all these things for AI, right? They adjusted or adjusted the ground and clinch game. So when we talk about the beta being broken or just being this demo and the game is a month away, what can they possibly do? they can do all of those things and more and a lot of that stuff is probably already done because you have to remember when you drop a beta you've worked on the beta before you ever dropped it that beta's probably been in that state for maybe months maybe pre-quarantine right um or beginning of quarantine whereas the full game has been improved on over all of that time since the beta's launch. So no, I'm not trying to praise EA or give them all this love. I'm not paid by them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Wish I was, but I'm not. Um, I'm just saying like, don't be so upset with something that you haven't even played. You played a beta, you played this small session, which based on the statement that I saw earlier in red, it felt like they purposely minimized what you were able to experience right in this beta a lot of it was done for stress testing and just testing a few new features like the new grappling the new fluidity the new motion right the new clinch those seem to be the things they wanted us to focus on right the the kind of bullet points on the main ufc4 page right now on ea sports website 
the full game is still a month away um i'm personally not at all bummed out i'm not angry i'm not mad i don't feel like i should be boycotting you know what i mean it's not like they added a whole lot of uh in-game purchases where ultimate team is gonna control everything they literally got rid of that stuff to try to make us happier going into the game so my takeaway ufc4 post uh closed beta is this is my final thoughts get yourself ready EA, stop copyright claiming content creators. That's my takeaway from the UFC 4 beta, my biggest takeaway. Stop sending strikes, stop claiming people's videos. These are free promotional videos. It, I, I get the NDA, trust me, I am a <laughs> cyber crimes major. I got my degree six months ago and I work in digital marketing. Trust me when I say I get, I get it, but this is free marketing. It makes no sense why the gaming community on any website, Twitch, YouTube, etc., needs to be worried about their videos being struck down. All these channels trying to grow over the UFC 4 content. Stop doing that. While you're working on the game, talk to your legal and marketing team and make sure that they're on the same page as you and understand that these are fans. The MMA community is small, but loyal to each other. And we do not tolerate that nonsense like some of the other communities like Call of Duty or some nonsense does. So stop copyright striking, stop copyright claiming uh, content creators. That's my UFC 4 takeaway. I'm gonna buy the game. You got yourself a customer. Congratulations. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.